The tent is up at Stan McNabb Chevrolet, and that means the model year wrap-up sale is now in progress. It's been a great year for Stan McNabb and Chevrolet. Five Consumer Digest Best Buy Awards, North America Car of the Year, and five top safety picks. Our best model year ever. And check out this award-winning 2011 Chevy Silverado Extended Cab. Drive it off our lot for only $22,777. Best of all, we have a great supply of 2011 models, but they're going fast. So take advantage of the model year wrap-up tent sale at Stan McNabb Chevrolet today. There's one place women of all ages can find the care they need. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. We're a full-service women's center with comprehensive obstetrical and gynecological surgery. Our excellent customer satisfaction rate is a reflection of our commitment to excellence. To serve you even better, we've now remodeled our facility. Our family-friendly birth center features private labor, delivery, and recovery suites. For every stage of your life, we're there for you. The Women's Center at Hartman Regional Medical Center. Everybody's in a business. A realtor helps build your family with a home to grow in. A doctor keeps you healthy and can fix a broken heart. An accountant keeps you on track for your future dreams. As a master IJO jeweler, Woodard's Diamond Showroom is a little of all of these because we're in the love business. We're there for your family's special times with regular happiness checkups and symbols of love. That's our business at Woodard's Diamond Showroom inside Northgate Mall of Tullahoma. Over 1,000 events and millions of dollars spent, the Treasure Hunters Roadshow is coming to a town near you. From Tuesday through Saturday, the Treasure Hunters Roadshow will be in your area purchasing gold, silver, coins, antiques, and collectibles. This event is absolutely free to attend, and you could get cash on the spot. Sell your scrap gold, unwanted jewelry, and gold coins. Anything gold can be sold. And with gold trading at an all-time high, it's a seller's market. Visit treasurehuntersroadshow.com for a list of upcoming shows and to see what treasures we're looking for. Welcome back. The city of Tallahoma dedicated a historical Civil War trails marker uh, at the Caboose Park on North Atlantic Street last Thursday. Andrew Todd brings us this video. An exciting day for Tallahoma. In just a few minutes, we're going to dedicate historical Civil War trails marker at History Park. And uh, I guess that's its unofficial name, History Park, but I think we pretty much adopted it. It's also known as Caboose Park. I'd like to thank the Tennessee Civil Wars Trails Program for making this happen as well. It's part of a multi-state tourism program. It was created for, to uh, create driving tours of Civil War sites. The Tennessee Department of Transportation awarded over a million dollars in grants to allow communities like us to acquire and install these historic markers. In addition to this marker, we received grant funds for markers at Maplewood Confederate Cemetery. And with the installation of these markers, Tullahoma will be included in a statewide grant and listed on a Civil War Trail website, which I think is very exciting and uh, very good for the promotion of Tullahoma. On behalf of the Governor's Commission for the commemoration of the sesquicentennial, I would like to thank and congratulate the citizens of Tullahoma and their elected leaders on marking and commemorating the significant piece of our city's past. It's great to be here. It's great to see a community come together and, and, and do projects like this, y'all, in, in a great community, a growing community, and a community that, that never ceases to amaze me that you're willing to come together, work together, uh, put aside some differences, and, and get things done. That's that's great. Projects like this don't happen with, that, with, with just government work. Projects like this happen because the community gets behind them. You should be very proud of yourself. Uh, we, we, the state of Tennessee didn't give you anything. You earned every penny of it. We, we certainly appreciate it. It's an opportunity, a fine opportunity to be here. Thank you. I'm just enough how much Dr. Bradley does to, uh, to help us with all of our civil war issues, and not to mention the fact that you'd be a great politician with your brevity of your speech. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> There's other people, too. I want to thank uh, Mr. O.B. Wilkerson back here. Uh, anybody that enjoys anything that has anything to do with our Confederate Cemetery here in Tullahoma or Beach Grove, or any of our historical markers needs to thank he and the sons of the Confederate veterans. They are vigilant on keeping those members alive. Thank you to all of you. Thank you, Mayor, and all the folks who made this happen. Uh, but I do want to thank everyone for coming out today. Uh, you know, today we dedicate a marker uh, commemorating the strategic role that Tullahoma played in the Civil War. Uh, in time for the Civil War sesquicentennial, this site is part of the Civil War pro Trails Program that highlights sites that were important during the war. And then, of course, last fall, Tullahoma dedicated marker at Maplewood Cemetery, 
commemorating the establishment of the Confederate Cemetery there. It is maintained to this day by the Tullahoma Memorial Association. We have brochures available that include that site, uh, and they're over here on the table. We'll be sure to get one, and in future editions will uh, include the site that we're dedicating today. And we'll be right back with more news later after these messages. The highest standard of excellence requires dedication and commitment. It's established over time. You know when you see it. You know when you feel it. There's a standard of excellence in healthcare. It's the Joint Commission Gold Seal of Approval. In 2003, Life Care Center of Tullahoma voluntarily achieved this accreditation and maintains it still today. Life Care, meeting a higher standard because residents matter most. You like downloading movies. You like gaming. You like streaming sports. This isn't on my map. Now you have the speed to do it all at once. Charter Ultra 60, our fastest internet ever. Citizens Tri-County Bank has the checking, loans, savings, and traditional banking services you want. Plus free internet banking and bill pay, bank your change, Visa gift card, and lots more state-of-the-art banking services. We focus on the service and services you want. So you can bank when, where, and how you want. At our offices or from just about anywhere. Citizens Tri-County Bank, the only community bank you'll ever need. We're losing it, Doctor. Not on my shift quickly. Brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. The pet of the week this week at the Tullahoma Animal Shelter is a husky named Shiloh, available for adoption. She is approximately two years old and gets along well with other dogs and children. Shiloh has had some vaccinations and will receive a free neuter from the Middle Tennessee Spay and Neuter Clinic in Shelbyville, provided by the Unitarian Universalist Church of Tullahoma. Remember, Microchip identification is available to all dogs adopted for a $10 or greater donation to the shelter. For more details, contact Teresa at 454-9580. State law also requires a $25 deposit refundable upon proof that the adopted pet has been spayed or neutered. The shelter has an ongoing need for donations of dog food, collars, leashes, treats, stainless steel food bowls, and monetary donations to provide medical care. The Tullahoma Animal Shelter is located at 942 Maplewood Avenue. Also, you're invited to Tractor Supply Company on August 6th from 10 to 2 for their pet appreciation event. They'll be offering on-site adoptions and $10 microchips. And the Coffee County Humane Society's featured pet this week is Mayo, a purebred chow chow. The shelter has many other dogs available for adoption at 1210 Oakdale Street in Manchester. The hours of operation at the shelter are 7.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. The shelter is also in need of foster, uh, foster homes. Vet care and food will be provided if necessary. The shelter's phone number is 723-2711 or 723-2730. Donations for animal care can be made of the Coffee County Humane Society at Post Office Box 252, Manchester, Tennessee. That's 37349 for the zip code. Their website is www.coffeehumane.org. Channel 6's John Gray cited what he best described as the biggest rooster he'd ever seen yesterday on North Washington Street in Tullahoma. As he would expect, John knocked on the owner's door and asked him to tell us about it. Let's watch. All right, folks, this is John Gray, and I'm on Washington Street, and you can tell it's football time in Tennessee. This is one big orange and white rooster wearing a UT football cap. Uh, he's about four and a half, four feet tall, I guess. And uh, this is orange, big orange country, and for sure it is right here on Washington Street. And uh, this is... This is football time in Tennessee, folks. 
All right, this is the owner of the UT Rooster right here. What's your name, sir? Ernest Jackson Williams. Ernest Jackson Williams. What in the world made you paint an orange and white rooster and put it in your front yard? Uh, that's just it. I did. <laughs> my, my, my friends did that for me, so they know uh, they know my feelings and how strongly I feel about UT. So they just couldn't uh, couldn't, couldn't help themselves. They, <laughs> well, I noticed you're on one leg. You, you broke a leg. Right. I've got some friends. I wouldn't say they were good friends. <laughs> <laughs> so they catch a man down and put a rooster in his exactly. front yard. Don't, huh? don't, don't lay down or else you'll get a rooster in your yard. It's basically a lesson on that. Well, I tell you what, thank you for talking with us, and we do love that Tennessee rooster. All right, thank you, sir. All right, man. Bye-bye. See ya. Not only did they paint the rooster, they painted his tree. It's football time in Tennessee. And we'll be right back in a moment with your weather forecast. Our office used to look like this. But now with my paper-free office from RJ Young, it's easy. We've made all of our files electronic and stored them in our virtual filing cabinet, which gave us tons of space. And Bob here, a big promotion. Melissa can pull files in minutes and spends hours on Facebook. And Kyle's confidential uh, files stay confidential. Uh, we're not totally paper-free, right? Thank <laughs> you. My paper-free office from R.J. Young. It's that easy. This is J.D. Oliver here at the Smokehouse on Mont Eagle Mountain. My sisters Betsy, Nancy, and I would like to thank you for supporting our family business for over 50 years. Hello, this is Stella Parton, and I am standing here right in the middle of Jim Oliver's Smokehouse Restaurant. But you need to come in here. We just got through doing a show. We also have a music scene going on here, and I want to invite you to come down because it is your mountain destination. Music on the mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. My name is Betsy Oliver. I'm the kitchen manager here. We serve a lot of ribs and barbecue and fried chicken. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Enjoy music on the mountain every Saturday night featuring the best of Nashville. Our family hopes to see you this year at Jim Oliver's Smokehouse. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor, you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1952 at 106 degrees. Record low was in 1953 at 62. The average high on this day is 88 and the average low is 67. For tonight, look for clearing weather with a low of around 72. On Friday, uh, some thunderstorms expected maybe in the morning with a high of 90 and a low of 71. Scattered thor uh, thunderstorms in the forecast for Saturday with a high of 89 and a low of 72. And Chip, we want to remind those folks in Tullahoma, you got one more day if you'd like to early vote. That concludes, uh, no, actually that includes Saturday at noon. I take that Saturday day. at noon and yes. the election is next week. Right? Yes, exactly. Next week. All right, that's our newsletter report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for Newsletter on 6. You have a good evening. Have a good night.